and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's video I'm looking at the first of this year's B&M exclusive sets, which is the Zontaran set, which features two Zontarans, Lynx and Steyr, and for the first time ever, Harry Sullivan, companion of the fourth Doctor. Now Harry is the character that most people have been excited for with this set, so I'm going to begin with him first. The articulation is very standard, so head can probably do a 360, yeah it can. Arms, there's no ball joints, but they go all the way around 360 up the shoulder, 90 degrees up the elbow. The wrists can do a full 360. The waist can do a 360 as well. He would be able to do the splits, except he's got a massive duffel coat on. 360 there, and a 90 degree bend there, and no foot articulation. So articulation is very standard, but that's because for the majority, it is reused parts. So for instance, the coat is in fact the Tom Baker coat from the same story. But it doesn't look like that. I only found that out through a Batman March video, so clearly it is fairly subtle. This is as he looks for the majority of season 12, well, his Zontaran experiment. So he's got his blue navy uniform underneath. So for detail, the head is absolutely brilliant. It looks really like Ian Martyr. I don't think any of us thought we were getting new head sculpts in the B&M sets ever. And yet, here one is, Harry Sullivan, companion we've been asked up the, for ages. Go back and focus. So the, the hair is really nice. We've got the nice shades of brown with some lighter bits in the curls. The face looks... Go back and focus. You can tell I'm using my old camera. The face is great. It looks just like Ian Martyr. The shirt, we've got some nice creasing effects, and we get a bit of the navy uniform there. The coat is really nice in this sort of beige colour, which is just like it is in the episode. And then the legs are just grey and black. So, a really nice figure to have to go beside our fourth Doctor. All we need now is a classic Sarah Jane. Please, b and I'm just thinking, you know, next year we, we could get that, you know. Just, 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 just maybe. Oh, yeah. Buttons on the shirt, also very nice. But, yeah, so, I reckon we could get a Sarah chain, hopefully, maybe next year. As this is a figure where many years ago it seemed like a possibility. But in recent years I don't think anyone thought we were going to get it. As the only new sculpt we seem to ever get would be the Doctor. And that would be in the modern series stuff, so... To have a basically completely new classic series figure is incredible. And who better than Harry, who only had a short time in the TARDIS, only had a few stories, but is in my favourite TARDIS team of with the fourth Doctor and Sarah. I, I've never worked out if I prefer it with or without Harry in terms of the TARDIS team, but I, I think I do prefer it with him. I think the fourth Doctor, Sarah and Harry is arguably the perfect TARDIS team. So, that, this figure alone I would have paid the £20 for, which I paid for this. However, it's not just him on his own, he also comes with two other figures, which are the Zontarans. First up, we have Field Major... I think it's Field Major Steyer? Not Grand Marshal, I don't think. It's Field Major Star, I think. I'll probably edit this wrong. So this is a variant on a figure of Star released many years ago, which was in a set with the Fourth Doctor and a Zontaran ship, which is a set I never managed to get, but I have seen. And this is sort of different paint colours. Articulation, I'll come to in a minute. I'll take the helmet off. So the head can move from side to side but not really do a 360. The arms I don't think have a ball joint. Do they? I've not worked out. Looks like they could have one but I don't think so. But arms go all the way around. 
can't really do a 360 there because it's hindered by the bulky suit. It's got articulation there and wrist articulation. He can do the splits and he can kick back and spin there. For detail, the head sculpt I believe is exactly the same as the last one. And the metallic black is absolutely brilliant on this figure. I think it gets the likeness of the episode brilliantly. And I really like the addition of this. I've only seen Zontara an experiment once and I can't completely remember how it looks. But I think it is basically this. The belt is really nice with the device with all the controls. And then the boots are really nice as well with the silver and black. Obviously, someone who actually has the original set would be able to do a much better comparison than I am, because I'm just going off what I remember of it. But one thing I do remember, though, is this mask, this bit here, and the helmet, which slots on. It's quite hard to get the helmet on, actually. It sort of clips into place. The modern ones are very easy to get in. But then I guess if now, the classic ones, the helmet actually stays on, if you want it on. The original release of this was black, the helmet, which I don't think is right. This sort of more, still is a darker colour, as this one gets, but still got the shine on it. And this helmet is really nice. I really love the classic series on Tauron Design. And this is really nice. you also got the probic vent on the back there. I think the classic Zontaran design, if the Zontarans return to Doctor Who at some point in the future, I'd love it to be a design like this, rather than the modern ones. I've always think the black and silver design has looked better than the blue ones. I think the blue ones look a bit stupid. So, really, that could have been the set, and it could have been a Zontaran experiment set. However, it's not that, because we also get Commander Lynx from the Time Warrior, which was the Zontaran's first appearance. The articulation on this figure is exactly the same as on Steyr, so I won't go into that. The hands, however, are different because it's got three fingers instead of the five or four and a thumb of Steyr. The device on the side is slightly different design, and... On his leg, he has a slot for his weapon. Which, let's see if it fits in. Well, that's the thing I forgot. So, does it go in? No, it. Oh! Yes, it does. It does fit in. So, if you want to display it and that. This weapon is really nicely designed. I really like it. Particularly the end with the gold. Now, we should be held pointing it. I've not really been able to get him to do that, so he's just sort of holding it like a dagger, and I'll display him. But that's fine. If I think it gets too stupid, I'll just put it in there. But I think Steyr also comes with a gun, which is interesting, because we've not had any accessories. I don't think there are accessories for any of the other B&M exclusive sets, but this one does, and last year there weren't any, so... Interesting. This set... I feel like I've begun with possibly the best set, so, also, the helmet is removable. The helmet on this one, I, I prefer this helmet. With the dots on it and the more silver colour. And the face is really nice. It looks just like Lynx. It's a bit light. I think Lynx's head is a bit darker. Which they get right on the original release. But I'm not too fussed, in all honesty. I mean, just, I never thought... This is a, a character I never thought I'd get because... I'm the same with Steyr because these figures originally came out when I was much younger and didn't know about Forbidden Plans exclusives or had the money to do so because I was like 10. So in conclusion, what do I make of this set? I love it. I think we get three very nice figures, inclu including one brand new figure in Harry Sullivan who is brilliant and a very welcome lineup. I feel this is one of the sets which many fans may skip if they're not too fussed about Harry. If they already have the Zontaran figures, they're not getting much new of them. However, I think the Harry figure more than makes up for it. And the three figures for £20, I think that's an absolute bargain. I think that's a really great price. And 
I think this is a figure you should go out your way and try and this set. If you're a fan of the Tom Baker era to get and you want to further complete the lineup, then get Harry. However, saying that, with all these B and M figures, there's always going to be countless variants. So if you're not too fussed about the Zontarans, you could probably save it a year because I doubt this is the last we've seen of Harry Sullivan. So, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time for my next B&M exclusive review, which will be the Two Doctors set. Goodbye. <laughs>